Hi Aramis, this is Rebecca with your Assignment 1 Travel Poster Critique. This is a fantastic poster and I hardly ever get to see uh, Africa in any of these travel posters. So I'm so glad that um, not only did you have a really unique experience there that you were able to translate into a piece of artwork, but that you, you know, showed us something really different. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Um, you did a great job following instructions as far as the uh, correct dimensions for your poster and using a max of the seven colors provided, um, as well as that's my favorite font and nobody ever uses it on these posters. So I'm really glad that you used Futura. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I think that your drawing is really cool and the subject is great. It's really unique um, and I like that these people, you know, look like they are, you know, from a vintage era. They're not like, you know, current day, in current day attire. And I just think it's fantastic. Your color balance is good. Everything's really great. I love that you have the red in the tire down here to balance the red in the mountains in the background. So really, really good stuff. So um, just a few things. Your composition is all very centered. Your main subjects are centered. The tree and the giraffe are centered. And your text is centered, uh, your highest mountain peak is centered. So I want you to pay attention to that um, and try to apply the rule of thirds to this a little bit more. What I suggest is moving your subjects over to the right a little bit and moving the tree and the giraffe over to the left a little bit. You can keep your text centered at the top and the mountain centered. I think that's fine. Um, and I know that this vehicle was only drawn to here probably. Maybe you have some extended off of your artboard that you can move over, uh, but if not, just make them bigger so that they fall over to the side. There's, um, yeah, I love that your horizon line does fall uh, along the rule of thirds, the top third plane, so that's really great. Um, on the instructions, it requested that you have a white border around it, so uh, you can choose how to apply that however you want. The other thing that I'd like to bring to your attention is everything is traced with a black stroke and we want to avoid that doing that, like relying on a black stroke to separate our figures from the background and, and you know, from the other objects in the image. So see if you can, at least in the future, if you don't have time um, to do it before your final portfolio, see if you can come up with other, other uh, solutions for the black stroke, I think that you can, because I can tell that you can draw well and um, that you you know care about your work. So I think you could figure something good out. Uh, other than that, keep bringing these great ideas and these great illustrations. Fantastic work.